Okay, we are still going to do these three questions, but this time the curve is slightly different because y is now isolated, x is not isolated, right? So to find the arc length, of course, we have to have one of these situations. Well, well, it's okay, it's not that bad because we can do some algebra right here. So we, can, we, we are still good, right? But here's the deal. Which one should we isolate though? The x or the y? Well, we were given that y is going from 1 to 3. So that means we should be in the y world, right? Because when you have the dy, that means the integral is set up to go from y to the first number to what the second number for the y. That means we should get the x by itself. So let's make that happen and then do our derivatives and then do the rest of the questions. So here we go. Of course, we can add this on both sides so we can get x cubed equals y to the fifth power plus two. And we will just take the cube on both sides. So this means x is by itself now. And we get, let's write it as y to the fifth plus two raised to the one third power. Because we have to do our derivative, when we do our derivative by looking at this form, we get dx dy being, bring this to the front. So we have one third. And the input stays the same, which is y to the fifth plus two. But don't forget to minus one to the exponent. One third minus one is negative two third. And we multiply by the derivative of the inside because of the, the chain do. Okay. And the derivative of the inside is five y to the fourth power. So I'll just multiply by it right here. And right here, there's nothing too much we can simplify. And in the end, we'll just be using our calculator anyway. But I do want to put a 5 on top of this right here, so let me make that happen. So this right here is just 5 over 3, and let's write down the y to the fourth power first, and all this. And let me just write it down like this. It's easier to put it down like this on the calculator. So this right here will be our derivative. Now, our length in action will be using this version. So here we go. We have to have the integral, of course. So integral, square root, 1 is the 1, and we add the parentheses, all that inside here, which is 5 third y to the fourth power times y to the fifth power plus 2 raised to the negative 2 third power. And this right here is the derivative. And we are just going to take this and raise to a second power because the formula says so. And we have the dy here, and dy, right? So we are in the y world, we have to go from 1, 2, 3. And again, if you really want to, you can actually put in the y into the original equations and you can get the x values and you can actually use this one if you would like and then you can get the y by itself, that stuff. It's just easier this way, slightly more convenient. All right, next we have to have the surface area. Well, rotate about the x-axis, we know the radius will be the y value. So we will have the integral of 2 pi and then the y. And we also have to have the DL. The DL is just all that, so it's not that bad. Now, check this out. I'm about to put in all this for the DL, right? So the Y is actually good. Anyway, we'll see this is the integral, 2 pi, and let me just write down the DL, all this right here in blue, which is the square root of 1 plus the parentheses of 5 third Y to the fourth power, times y to the fifth power plus two raised to the negative two third power and don't forget we have to square this guy don't you feel that this is almost like a computer science class because later when you enter all this on your calculator you have to pay really uh, close attention to all the syntax and all that stuff anyway this right here is the dl part and we have to have the y, which is just the y, because y is invited in the y world. Cool, and y goes from one to three, so this is nice. Done. And just like the other ones, you are going to tell me what the approximation is. Now, the surface area, when you take the arc, rotate about the y-axis, in that case, the radius will be the x value, so we will have the integral, 2 pi x, and again, multiply by the dl. And then we'll, of course, just do the same thing, pretty much. So we have the integral. 2 pi is still 2 pi. dl is still all that, so I will have to write that down again. 
Okay, so just go ahead and write that down again, like seriously. So we have the square root of 1 plus parentheses 5 over 3 y to the 4th power, parentheses y to the 5th power plus 2, parentheses, and then this right here is raised to the negative 2 third power, all right? And then uh, square that, and you have the dy, like that. But this time though, x is not invited in the y world. Well, it's okay, because we know x is the same as that. So I will just put this down right here for the x. All right, so enter parentheses y to the fifth power plus two raised to the one third power, like that. All right, so we're still done. So this is still good. And we, of course, go from y equals one up to three. All right, so this is it. Hopefully, you guys all find this video to be helpful. And this are not that bad if you can use the calculator to evaluate the integrals. And don't forget your basic integration skills, of course. But anyway, this is it. If you have any questions, you guys can leave a comment down below and let us know. And don't forget to uh, approximate all these integrals with your graphing calculators. Okay, so that's it.